Good morning, Britain. It's just gone six o'clock and um, we're all sending our huge best wishes this morning to Fiona Phillips because, of course, you know, well known to all of you um, as the former presenter of uh, GMTV for uh, more than a decade, I think, and um, just a hugely popular presenter and journalist. We all know and love her. She's also been an incredible advocate for families living with Alzheimer's. Her mother was diagnosed um, in her 50s, or the, the symptoms were certainly picked up in the 50s. Her father then uh, in his 60s, and her uncle as well. And now Fiona herself has been diagnosed with... And it's called young onset Alzheimer's. She was diagnosed at the age of 61. You, of course, have enormous experience in this area, I Ed. do. Well, she is, um, has been such an iconic broad broadcaster for so long, such a connection with um, people. I remember when Gordon Brown first became Prime Minister back in, two in 2007, he really wanted to persuade Fiona to give up television mm -hmm. and come into government. He thought she would be a brilliant public health minister, somebody who could communicate to people about things which would really make a difference to their their lives, as she did on the television. Mm. And uh, I think she decided that broadcasting was her priority. So you know, fair enough to, um, to her for deciding that. She would have been brilliant. But you know, as I, you know, kind of know very well, if you have um, a parent um, who has uh, Alzheimer's or dementia, and my mum's had dementia for almost 20 years now, it's always in your mind, you know. Mm. Is it going to be hereditary? Could it be me at some point? And... Uh, I would guess Fiona has been thinking about this for a long time. Yeah. And uh, now it's a reality that she's dealing with and doing so very bravely. She's involved, as we'll be discussing, in a big trial to, to try and um, test out drugs which might make a, a difference. And she wants to pioneer. She wants to talk about it. She wants to help other people deal with this. But um, she'll be doing all of that, helping other people, as she's always done, while also having to deal with it exactly. herself, which is so tough. Yeah, she says that it's decimated her family. Her mother, father and uncle also had the disease. Uh, but she has decided to share her story to help others. Here's Olivia Guthrie. So, do you want a cup of tea or something, yeah? Fiona Phillips says Alzheimer's ravaged her family. She always feared getting the disease in her 80s, but she wasn't prepared to receive the news at just 61. My mum, my dad, my uncle Barry, my, I mean, it just goes yes. on and on. It's just... And then, and then what you say to me, it's not hereditary. Well, the TV presenter became a household name in the 90s as a host of GMTV. She says she was diagnosed last year after suffering from brain fog and anxiety, which she'd initially put down to the menopause. Her diagnosis was a shock that her husband, this morning editor Martin Frizzell, says made him feel sick. The couple's two sons were tested for the Alzheimer's gene and luckily they don't have it. But Fiona knows from her own experience what they do now face. And I remember walking into the home and hearing this awful, awful scream and I just thought, oh my gosh, who's that? And it was actually my mum. Oof. And, um... It's estimated more than a million people will be living with dementia in the UK in the next two years. Fiona's taking part in a trial for a new drug to treat Alzheimer's in the hopes of finding a cure that helps others in the future. Olivia Guthrie, Good Morning Britain.